Hey everyone, so for today I'm going to be talking about uh, the new Superman movie, uh, Man of Steel, starring Henry Cavill, or Cavill, or however you want to say it, uh, Amy Adams, Russell Crowe, uh, and Michael Shannon as General Zod. Um, I have to say that it was a step up from uh, the last uh, uh, Superman movie, Superman Returns. Um, I just still didn't like it. There was absolute no fan service in this movie. Um, sometimes it's necessary to at least uh, cater to the audience and fans for just a little bit. Um, I just, I, I didn't like how it went against pretty much uh, every single uh, uh, point of uh, Superman uh, mythos and just rewrote the story all over again. Um, it was just, it was so different that I just, I, I, I didn't care for it. Like, yes, you still had that... Um, uh, Kal-El is the last son of Krypton. He's sent to uh, Earth um, and blah, blah, blah. He grows up, becomes a superhero and all that stuff. Um, but I just... Like, my number one fault with the movie is how uh, careless he was about containing his uh, powers and his identity. Um, he just used his powers whenever he wanted, um, saved people without even covering up his face, uh, let Amy Adams, who plays Lois Lane, completely figure out who he is, and I just absolutely hated that. The whole point of it was supposed to have um, the interaction between Lois Lane and Clark Kent, and it be so, like, agonizingly horrible uh, to watch them and not have her figure out that, hey, Superman is Clark Kent, or Clark Kent is Superman. Um, and here they just avoided the whole thing. Even, uh, this might be a spoiler for some people, but even in the end, where uh, the entire uh, uh, issue in the movie is resolved, uh, and uh, Clark goes to work for the Daily Planet for some unknown reason, really, because I just... I, I, I didn't get what the 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 purpose was for having him uh, work there. He he claims that it's for um, so he doesn't look suspicious uh, asking around uh, like uh, when uh, events are happening when when things are like when people are in danger and like different things like that to be close to like the news. Um, it was just it was a very basic excuse, but. I did not understand at the very end of the movie why, uh, like, what the deal is between uh, Lois Lane and uh, Clark Kent. Like, is she going to pretend that, like, oh, hey, um, I know that, that, that you're Clark and you're just Clark and you're not Superman at all. Um, or for, does she just for some reason not realize that, like, oh, hey, this guy that I've been uh, uh, seeing for uh, weeks now uh, throughout the course of this entire movie um, just happens to be uh, someone else in the end. Like, I have no idea who this guy is. Even though she's already been to his house, uh, seen his face, and in the end, even though they put a pair of glasses on him, he still looks... I'm pretty sure they put a pair of glasses on him. I can't really remember. Um, he still looks exactly the same. So I don't know if... Um, there, she's just pretending that she doesn't know who he is or, like, what the deal is. But I just did not care for it at all. The only thing that I liked about the entire movie was... Uh, I, I guess portions of... Uh, of uh, Superman's past, the story of what happened on Krypton, how they altered a few things, but then other things I just completely hated. Um, sort of altering the Phantom Zone uh, situation uh, in this movie, I actually liked it better than the original Phantom Zone in the 
second movie, I believe it was. Either way, I can't, I, I don't really remember that. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was too different for me to really enjoy it. And as from what I could tell, uh, Rotten Tomatoes only gave it a 56%. Uh, it's not terrible, terrible. Um, but it just was not really that interesting for a fan of uh, Superman. It was just almost, almost a complete miss. So I have to say that, yet again, I suggest that you pass on this Superman movie. Um, just wait for it to come out on a DVD or a digital download or uh, whatever. Figure out a way to rent it later. Um, just don't spend your money or time to go to the movie theater and watch this movie. It was just not as good as it should have been. See ya.